Everybody has their own way of understanding skateboarding, and Rodney breaks down tricks into little itty bitty components and builds them up until he can pull it off. He could explain it to you and break it down to like the weight distribution for your foot. Like, do you lean a little bit on the outside of your heel? Do you lean on the ball of your foot? The way the truck sits on a block, just from like being around him and stuff, like I have a new understanding of the mechanics of skateboarding in a way, like down to like the way a truck sits on a block. When I'm filming a hard trick that's challenging for me, then there are certain motions that you have to do, right? Manual tricks are hard and they're testy. It knows really not, flip knows really over the gap, for instance. So you have these motions that you know in your head. I know what a flip feels like. But when you're actually, what makes the trip for you is finally you pack all that stuff for granted and you forget about it. And you're focusing only on, or I am at least, you're focusing on only one aspect of where my eye is and my back shoulder is uh, at the time I see the edge of the table. And then everything else is taken for granted and runs autopilot. But as long as I can control that one and get a good nose wheelie from the start, I've got it. And that's how it works for me. Stack, 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 stack. Bracket and put like a tablecloth over it and focus on this last little bit and that's what does it. This is something a lot of people I mean, just don't even know or don't even want to admit, but basically Rodney invented today's modern board shape, period. And it all started with the Mike Vowley Animal Farm board. And it went from there and Rodney basically took that board and started rounding the tail and rounding the nose so you could ollie better. You know, before you knew it, you got a big long freestyle board. I rode the sample. It, it, was just, it worked out. Right on. Uh, Rodney's product designs now are becoming as revolutionary as his skating. That's just exactly what the slider is supposed to look like. Light years ahead of everything else. And Rodney's is driven by his ability to see what's next. If he can see what's on the horizon for a trick or an idea, he'll just start going after it. Seriously, I wouldn't be surprised if Rodney's a pro for another 10 years. I, it, wouldn't, I, it wouldn't shock me. It almost shocked me if he wasn't. He was supposed to retire in 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. He's not retiring anywhere. He's just going to keep filming video parts and keep pushing his limits. And even when you think you've seen it all, you know, like he definitely will step it up again and surprise you.
I still am most comfortable with skating. I just go out under street lights somewhere and I, I do this stuff and I get peace. I can think. And that skateboarding to me, you know, is creating something. That's cool, you know? I mean, who knows what really drives someone to progress? It could be fear, or competition, or being basically tormented by ideas. That's just gotta force you to progress, you know, or you go crazy. Every time he goes out and skates, he sees something else out there, he'll just start going after it. He just loves what he's doing.